Another story about bed bugs, folks. It seems like every day another school is calling in exterminators, and now another office being shut down. So the question here are more bed bugs here, or does it just seem that way? We sent Sarah Finney to find out this morning. So, Sarah, what is the answer? You're on the bed bug beat recently. Well, I'm going to get to that in just a moment, but first I want to tell you that the job and family services complex here in Illyria was closed yesterday because of a bed bug infestation, but they are set to reopen this morning. Now, to answer your question, the Board of Health says we are not seeing a spike in bed bugs. They've been dealing with these kinds of issues for the last five years. Of course, we've been talking a lot about schools and bug bugs recently. Some of the most recent sightings have been at Bay Village and four schools in Parma now including Valley Forge and three incidents reported in Lorraine schools this week. Not infestations though, just incidents. Officials say that means one bed bug was found in a classroom or on a child. For the most part, those schools are not closing while they sanitize, but parents can keep their kids at home if they choose. I mean, I think all of us who are parents are concerned about this issue. You hear stories about things happening in people's homes, and nobody wants that. We as school districts don't want that either. However, our job is to educate students, and right now it's very safe for the students to be there, so we want those kids in class. And there are quite a few ways to combat bed bugs. Lorraine City Schools is actually using a machine that acts like a sleeping person to attract the bed bugs. They say they're having trouble finding one to rent now, though. Live in Illyria, Sarah Finney, News Channel 5.